Hello everyone, it's Joey Brown coming at you again. I got this bag that I won from A3 Sky Warrior. It's a LXR Postal Prospecting bag. See, it's got one tenth of a gram in it. And we're going to see what we can find. If I can get my fingers in there to open it. Golly, why is it? It's kind of small, so I'm going to put it all in there. Mm-hmm. Nice and clean. And here we go. a little shiny down in there. What the heck just happened there? Can you see that blue coming out of it? Oh yeah you can. Well, I guess I gotta get it in the right position. There it is. Oh that blue coming out of that tip. I guess maybe that's a, a flake of opal hidden in there. That's kind of cool. I like that. We will put it... We'll just put it right there in that little pan. There's a real thin piece of something, but did you see the color that comes off of it? Where's it at? Get it at the right angle, and it lights up. That's just reflection there. Where you at? I saw it. It's got a lot of gold. There it goes. That's cool. Yeah, look at all the gold that pops up. I mean, I don't think there's gold in there, but whatever that is, that's kind of neat. Anybody knows what kind of rock that is, let me know. Hmm. There appears to be a bunch of things in here I should probably take out. I'm going to pause this and we'll be right back. Alright, I think I finally got all the stuff picked out of them out of the bigs I found some interesting looking things in there I'll show y'all in a little bit I might need some help identifying a rock or two in there Ooh, that's a little on the muddy side it's gonna be time to wash my tub after this one I did not anticipate that I should have brought my pan over here Not fun. Nice and dirty looking, like dirty dirt ought to look. Just dirty looking. But it all comes clean eventually. Yes, that is looking much better. Now let's hope I don't have too much in this pan already. Since there's only supposed to be... Yep, that's too much. Hmm, says I. Where's my... My RPE pan. I'll put all the rocks and stuff in that one. Because I know that pan will catch fine gold, and I think there's fine gold in here. 
So we'll go ahead and put some of that in this pan for later. wash over the edge unless it went into the other pan and that thing's going to rattle around until the water settles You can probably hear that TV, so I'll mute it. Got the little rascals running in the background. The original, not that new stuff. I guess technically it's our gang, not the little rascals. They're showing some really old ones before Spanky was even there. Well, I checked that out. Showing some kids that I didn't recognize, but then some of them I did, and I was like, well, hey. I remember them on the episodes with Spanky, the kids I recognized, but they were, they were like the bigger kids that chased them around. And on here, they're not so big kids. Hear the planes at the air show rumbling out there. We got the Thunderbirds flying around this weekend. I don't think that was them just now. I think that was one of the others. Because that one's got a deep tone rumble to its engines. And the Thunderbirds don't quite sound like that. I was kind of hoping the Blue Angels would come back this year, but they didn't. They don't come around as often as the Thunderbirds do. Sometimes we get the Canadian um, team. I can't remember what they called them. They have red and white jets. They're pretty cool. I think they're called the Snowbirds. I could be mistaken. It's been a few years since I've seen them. But yeah, I like the Blue Angels. They just, they've got some real nice looking planes. Navy knows how to pick their colors. sure y'all can probably hear that rumbling. And so far I've only seen a couple of little flecks of gold. I pushed them back up in there. I 
hope it's not so tiny that I'm missing it all. But if I am, I'll... Well, I'll just have to figure out another way. Hmm. There's a little glittery something hanging on. I wonder what it is. I found some interesting rocks. I thought they were all garnets. But they're not. I'll show them to you after a while. I just, I got curious. I was like, oh my god, that's the most garnets I've ever gotten in any one bag. And then I started looking at them. I was like, well, man, some of them look almost too dark if to be a garnet. And... I don't know. So I set them on my flashlight and turned it on. And they're a different color. Come here, you. I know I can pick you up. Dang it. What the heck are you? I suspect that's a little piece of pyrite. It's a teeny tiny... Found a slightly bigger piece earlier. Looking through the rocks. And I saw some other small pieces in there. I just didn't part with them. Yeah, here comes another one. Here comes a couple of other ones. Oh my goodness, is that how small the gold's going to be? See that in front of my finger? Oh my. I'm really hoping it's not all that little. <laughs> that looks smaller than Flower Gold Wizard stuff to me. He's got some fun pay dirt. If you haven't ever done any Flower Gold Wizard, you might want to check them out. Old Jason over there, he's got some good stuff. Fun stuff. If you like small gold, and don't, you know, it's, it's a little bit of a challenge, so if you don't mind the challenge. I think I leaned away from you a little bit with my... I do that a lot. It's because I keep moving around to find the light that I prefer best. And it's not always in the spot where the camera's looking. Boy, I'm seeing some tiny flakes of something in there. This year, they seem to have changed their flight pattern a little bit. They used to, when they would come off the field and circle back around, they would rip right over our house. It was awesome. You just go stand out there. And, I mean, they were so close to the ground. You know, they're, they're not very far, far up there. They're just a little above the trees, it looks like. I'm sure they're a little bit higher than it looks like, but they're awful low. And it's just awesome. Yeah. 
If I'm still doing this video when the Thunderbirds start flying, you will definitely be able to hear them there. They're loud. Well, I'm seeing all kinds of color in this pan, and I'm not sure what's what now. I know there's a lot of crushed up mica in here. Just a lot of it. But I'm definitely seeing gold, I think. See that? That looks like some gold, especially over here. Let's see what it is. I like this. This looks kind of like uh, garnet sands or something. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I can see all the individual pieces rolling, and it's it's got its own pattern that it moves in. It's not like regular sand. That's cool. I sure hope y'all can see that. Let's see if I can get close enough for you to see it. It's mostly, it's coming off of right here, a little bit over here. Let me shake this down some. That's an awesome movement. <laughs> I know some of y'all are probably going, what the heck is he talking about? <laughs> I notice all kinds of things and that really is catching my eye it's cool looking as hell Ooh, here comes a bunch of that pyrite finally released it And you know, out of all the years that I've lived over here, within like a mile and a half, two miles of that Air Force Base, um, and all the air shows they've had, only once ever did they come out and fly the, the B-2 bomber by. And they didn't even land it. They circled the field a couple of times, so everybody could see it flying. It was awesome looking. You know, the, the stealth one as they called it looked like a big flying wing and but they they had the uh the stealth fighter they had that sitting on the on the ground for people to just walk up and look at it i was like what but that bomber they didn't put it down they just flew it around and left but it sure was neat looking and they've only ever done that once That battery light's got me concerned. I feel like it's about to cut y'all out. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just a combination of the black sand and the other color moving together. It's awesome. Sure wish I didn't have to wear glasses. <clears throat> I used to be able to see some incredible stuff. I used to be able to see flaws and diamonds with my naked eye. I don't know. A lot of people go, oh yeah, you're full of crap. I got a cousin and a cousin that has an ex-wife that'll both tell you absolutely I can. Or could, not anymore. I don't think my glasses are good enough for that. And I can't look at things up close like that anymore without them trying to get blurry on me. Because I gotta get pretty close to that stone to be able to see in it.
But yeah, it used to be neat. I used to see things that other people just, they'd sit there and kept going, man, I just can't see it, I can't see it. Every once in a while, I'd find someone that could see it. They're like, wow, man, that's cool. It's different stuff. They used to tell me my eyes were better than perfect. And now I gotta wear glasses. That's a real bitch, ain't it? <laughs> And I used to also wonder if it had anything to do with carrots, you know, because they used to always tell you, eat carrots, they're good for your eyes, blah, blah, blah. Well, I just always loved raw carrots, and I would eat them all the time anyhow. Yep, that battery gave up the ghost on us. But yeah, you know, it makes me wonder, because I don't eat carrots like I used to when I was young, and maybe if I did... Maybe I wouldn't need these glasses. I don't know. It's a think. A thought. A thunk. Things that make you go, hmm. Yeah, everybody used to... If anybody lost anything really small... They always came to me. Can you find this? Can you find that? I found everything they asked me to find except for one time this chick lost a contact lens in a swimming pool. <laughs> I was in that pool for hours. Man, I never found it. I told her, I said, you're just going to have to get some more. I said, you know that thing is clear down here. The longer I spend in the water with my eyes open, the more they burn from the chlorine. And, uh, eventually I'm gonna have to just give up, and that's wound up, that's what wound up happening. You can't just stay underwater with your eyes open all damn day. But yeah, I gave it a valiant effort. I even got to the point where I just swam around, skimming the bottom with my hand to see if I could find it. But... It's so tiny. The water jets in the pool were probably making it move around. But yeah, there is gold in that there pan. Just got to get that little sand and the rest of that pyrite out of there. And maybe get a little more water in there. Maybe something will walk. Let's see what happens. Come over here, gold and dirt. Oh, the dirt doesn't want to come. Hmm? I don't want to go that way. I always go the other way. Come on. <laughs> it won't move when I put it against my stomach because it's getting a the bounce back effect. I see that ugly little thing hiding there. Where'd you go? It stuck to my finger, huh? Nothing else ever sticks to my finger down there in the water. Most of it. Most of the dirt, that is. I still got another pan to do. We'll combine them together. See what happens. Make sure we got movement. I don't know, but if it's only a tenth of a gram, it's got to all be right there, right? Because honestly, that looks like more than a tenth of a gram, unless it's just a 
Optical illusions sometimes go is lighter than the pieces you're looking at than what you think it should be. Come on, settle down, dirt. There you go. And get rid of that dirty water. Well, if all them little chunkers were gold, that would be all right. But unfortunately, they're not. They are fool's gold. Don't be a fool. And I've had some pretty decent sized nuggets of that stuff. And I guess in a way, I could see how back in the day before they really knew very much about gold, when they found a big chunk of that crap, they probably thought they found something. And then finally somebody realized, hey man, that stuff doesn't glow in the shadows like gold does. So it became fool's gold. I think we're done here, everybody. I think there's a little bit of dirty in that pan over there. But we can take care of that real quick. I don't want to suck this up yet. I want to share it. Alright, you go float around over there. There's that ugly black stuff I didn't want. Mm. That's not a pyrite piece. Nor is that, and a bunch of that little stuff. sand is something else it moves just like the big sand it's just finer particles of the same stuff I bet y'all can't see that that is awesome it's 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 I'm guessing it's tiny flakes of the pyrite and possibly some garnet sands and whatever kind of black sand is in here you know there's more than one kind obviously is that a floater sure was with all that jet dry i have in here a floater hmm But yeah, whatever those sands are, they they just look so cool when they're moving. Okay, I'm creating floaters now. I've got more jet dry here than I need. If I stirred my hand around this thing, it would just bubble up. But I think we're done on that. That's the smalls. And now that we've got this empty pan over here. I got all the uh, rocks I really wanted to look at out. I think that one. Uh oh. I found a piece. And put it over here with the other stuff. Hmm. 
No, I'm pretty sure that's not a piece. No, that piece says, my name is Micah. It was just a bigger chunk of it, not a little flake. All right. Yeah. Get rid of that floaty thing. There's that piece. And I've got this darn black thing in here that keeps floating around but don't want to float out. There it goes. All right. I think it's about time I wash this tub out. Well, not right now. But anyway, I'm going to go through that again, and then we'll dry it all out. Of course, I'll show you if I find anything, and we'll be back. Okay, can you see it? There's a little bit right there. Looks like about... Looks like that doesn't belong. That's what it looks like. I don't know. There might be about six little pieces down there. It's hard to tell. They're small. But that's what I missed. And so... We'll suck that up and we'll get it dry. We'll be back. Alright. Let's see what's in this... Uh, this AU from... A3 and LXR. Let's go ahead and get this thing set up. And let's see what's in here. It looks like it's about a tenth of a gram. How about one six? Five. Four. Okay. Five again. Yeah, it wants to be one of those. We'll call it six one six four. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Thank you both of you, sir. There's the biggest little piece of pyrite that was in there. I left all the rest of it behind. Um but now let's get into the question of these rocks. Okay. I know some of y'all aren't interested in this, and some of you are. I are. Okay, I don't know if you can see the shine that comes out of the end of that rock. And then it also comes out of this end of it. Okay, this is a different kind of rock altogether. We got this one, and see how that one's got some on the edge there. And a little on this edge, but not on the top and bottom. Just on the perspective left and right. How about that? I think those are related. And they all have something. This one's got a little peak of blue right there. Look at that. That almost reminds me of a star sapphire. Although, I don't think that's what it is. But look at it just sticking out. Just shine. Isn't that awesome? And then there's this one. Let's find its shiny spot. Where'd you go? There it is. Right on the edge there. And then again around this side. I'm not sure what these are, but I'm pretty sure they're all related. And then this one has... Oh. Holding it backwards. There it goes. You see the color on that? Let's see, right there. And then on this edge, there's not as much because it's more of a tapered down edge, but there's a little. See it? That's pretty cool. I, I don't know what these are. 
but I do like them. Um, there it is. This one has it's blue or whatever color all across the top edge and across the other side, opposite of it, but not as much. Are these opal somehow? Oh, and drop this little guy. This one I thought it was cool because it's flat on the top and flat on the bottom. Almost looks like it's ready to go into a piece of jewelry or something. It's some kind of quartz, I assume. But yeah, just the way it was smoothed out like that, that's pretty cool. Now, we have this one. These are all the same kind of stone, I'm certain. If someone can please tell me what those are, I'd appreciate it. And then you have this one. See which way I gotta catch the light for it to work. Oh, there it goes. A little. Let's turn it around. There it goes. What is this? It just looks like a piece of quartz. With a little black dot there and a black dot that you probably can't see. A little black dot there. And that one. But when you catch it just right in the light, on one side, that side. Oh, I turned it around again. They like to be in a certain direction. Don't they? Oh, maybe I didn't turn it around. There it goes. What is that? I'd like to know what this rock is and all of these and that one with the little blue point still just shining away. I like that. That's cool. Now, let's move on to these dark stones. I know right away some of them are garnets. And I figured some of the bigger ones might be garnets too. Because when they get bigger it's harder to see the color in them. Without putting them on a light or something like that. So, I got this here light. And I'm going to put them on it, and the camera's not high enough, so we'll bring the camera around here and turn it on. Now, do you see the different colors? Obviously, the pink ones are garnet. But what are these other ones that are kind of a... Uh, Oh, I don't know what color you'd call that. A little bit of mix of green and brown, maybe. And this one's on its own. It's its own thing. That little black thing there doesn't belong. It just got picked up. That's nothing. What are these other rocks? I know the garnets. But these other ones are all the same kind of stone, except for this one here. Can anybody tell me what those other ones are? I bet LXR can. They're pretty cool, whatever they are. They're just black without the light on them. Awesome. I like that. Now. I hope everybody enjoyed that, because I know I sure did. Let's, uh... Go ahead and put this in this pile before I forget about it. Turn around, spill it somewhere. Yeehaw. It's adding up. And that goes in there, and that goes in there, and we're done. Alright, I hope everybody enjoyed that, and I'll be posting links for both of these here people. So that y'all can check out their channels if you haven't already. And we will catch you on the next one. I sure like that. <laughs> Later. Alright, quick note on those black ones that look black until you put the light on them. Are those Apache tears? Possibly. I've had some larger ones, but I think I gave them away. And... They weren't polished up around the edges. These look like they've been through a rock polisher. But yeah, 
Let me know if those are possibly Apache tears.